You will be married next year. You have a foot fetish. You see Sam more than we think. You were popular in school. Solby is real and you're Sam's cover up. Hey everybody, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing the quick fire assumptions challenge thing. I believe his name is Byron. He made this challenge and I thought, hey, why not expose myself? That could be fun. So I asked you guys on my Instagram account to send me assumptions about me or my life. If you're not following my Instagram, make sure you check it out and that way you guys can be involved in the next videos that I do like this. Also, I'm a little bit sick right now, so if I'm not acting completely myself, that's probably why. I have like a swollen face, so we're not gonna look at that side. Cool. I've got a whole bunch of different questions written down. I guess we'll just get into it. I'm a little bit nervous, but hey, maybe you guys will learn something new about me. And super quick before we get into the video, don't forget to check out my Gone merch collection. I also have phone cases and tea, so if you like it, it'll be linked in the description. Okay! First assumption, let's go. You're rich as heck. Heck wasn't the word used, but... Um... <laughs> no, I'm not. I wish, that could be cool, but no. You're considering buying blue box dye. No! I am not going to use box dye on my hair, first of all. Second of all, I have blue hair dye, um... I'm just not redoing it because one, I'm in quarantine, and if I do redo it, I would need to get my roots bleached, and that's obviously not happening in quarantine. So, no, I'm not buying box dye. I have blue hair dye. I'm purposely not doing it, just so you guys know. You will be married next year. Uh, definitely not. I'm sorry to crush your hopes and dreams, but definitely not getting married next year. You wrote attraction and love shaped about Sam. Yes. You spend more time on TikTok than interacting with actual people. I think before quarantine, no, but because of quarantine, yes, definitely. I probably spend way too much time on TikTok now. You're the most dramatic in the friend group. I don't think I'm the most dramatic in the friend group. Like, I think because I laugh a lot, people think I'm dramatic, but no. When things get serious, I am very calm and not dramatic and crazy. You bathe in pickle juice on a regular basis. Obviously, who doesn't? I'm just kidding. You're moving to Hawaii. No, I will not be moving to Hawaii. I get this question way too much. No, I'm not moving to Hawaii, everybody. Someone said, are you always as happy as you seem? I try really, really hard to be happy, um, especially when I'm around other people because I want them to be happy. But you know, when I'm alone or just in my room or in my thoughts, um, no, I'm definitely not happy all the time, but I don't want to burden other people with my problems, so I just always try to be the happiest as possible. Your makeup takes one to two hours to do. If I'm really, really trying super duper hard on my makeup, maybe it would take an hour, but I did today's makeup in like 40 minutes. Um, I think that's pretty normal, 30 to 40 minutes. You secretly get jealous slash protective when girls flirt with Sam on the internet. No, definitely not. Um, I don't really care about stuff on the internet. It's his job and like I'm very used to it by now. But if a girl comes up to him at a party and starts flirting with him in front of me, then I get a little bit protective. <laughs> You've played at least two sports at one point in time. I used to dance and play soccer um, like all the way up to high school, so I think that counts as two sports at once. You're a secret spy sent from Mars to make people laugh. Yes. Your favorite color is blue. Okay, so people ask me this all the time because my hair was blue for so long and is kind of, well, I don't know what it is right now, but um, no, I just love blue hair on me. It doesn't really mean that my favorite color is blue. I don't really have a favorite color. I like pink, blue, purple, yellow, red. I don't know you guys, I can't choose. I like all colors, but I do love blue hair color. You look like you have really high standards. Um, maybe in like a boyfriend I would. Yeah, I guess. But I don't know if this applies to like normal life. Like I'm not bougie, that's the thing. Like I always still try to make like the least expensive options or like the way to save or stuff like that. So I'm not really bougie, but I think um, in a boyfriend or something, then yeah, I have high standards. You're gonna make new music soon. You bet your bottom dollar I am. You have a foot fetish. No, actually quite the opposite. I 
hate feet with a passion. I think they're the most disgusting things on the planet. Um, I feel really uncomfortable if people aren't wearing socks around me. Like, if you come to my house and you don't have socks on, it's fine, but like, I'm definitely uncomfortable. You sleep with your socks on. Yes, I hate feet. I always sleep with my socks on. Your basic AF. Um, I don't think so, am I? I, I don't know. I've never owned a pair of Uggs, so I don't think I'm super basic, maybe. Solby is real and you're Sam's cover-up. No! <laughs> I'm sorry to crush your dreams, but no. You like to read. I like to read self-help books, yes. You eat blue cheese. Yeah, I love blue cheese. And I love gorgonzola cheese. And I love stinky cheese. So I hope that's not a bad thing. You have hidden tattoos. No, but I might soon. You wish Corona would leave. Yes. <laughs> you didn't have a 1D phase. Um, unfortunately, no, I did not have a 1D phase. I know everybody loved them, but I think it's just because I was so invested in Justin Bieber. <laughs> I loved, I loved him. him and he's the only one that I actually really had like a fangirl moment about I've never had that with anybody else um, oh, I'm starting, starting to hurt. hurt but yeah I definitely do have a lot of respect for One Direction and I like their music I was just never really like a hardcore fan of them you like to stalk fan accounts yes you moved to LA to make music Actually, yes, I used to post cover videos when I was young and a producer from LA had found me on YouTube and I ended up flying back and forth from Toronto to LA for a couple years. Eventually I moved here to pursue the music full time. You and Sam fight 24 seven, definitely not. You're super mature for your age. Um, I like to think so. All my friends are older than me and people have told me that before. So I'm gonna go with yes. You're one of those people that has a coffee addiction. Actually, no, I probably went to Starbucks like before quarantine, maybe three days a week, and I definitely don't need coffee to live. You eat your face mask after using it. No, is that a thing? Do people do that? Definitely not, I feel like that's really gross. You look like you have a good life and no problems. I don't even think that's possible for someone to have no problems in their life. I definitely think that I have a good life and that I also worked super hard for a good life, um, but I definitely do have a lot of problems. I think everybody does. You sing in the shower. Actually, no, I don't. You peed yourself within the last year. Not within the last year, but two years ago I did because I went to a Halloween fest thing and one of those scary people scared me in a maze and yes, it happened and I'm not proud of that moment. So I'm sorry. Oh my God, this is hurting. <laughs> you moved in with the Trap Boys. No. You still love mochi a lot. Yes, but I haven't had mochi in probably years and I'm actually really sad about it. After quarantine, I'm getting some. <laughs> You're a lot more sad than you put off. Um, definitely. I think that I don't really post that much when I'm sad. It's very rare, but um, yeah, people don't really know always when I'm sad, so probably. You don't wanna live in LA forever. Probably not forever. I think it would be really cool to live in other parts of the world and maybe even back in Canada for a little bit eventually, but I do love LA for the time being. You're gonna dye your hair purple. No, um, if I did, it wouldn't be for a really long time. You're faking a relationship with Sam. No. Someone asked if I want kids. That is super tough. I'm super bad with like pain and needles. And so I think going through the whole process of birthing a child, I would be very scared of. Um, but I do want a mini me one day, maybe. But as of right now, I can't imagine going through that process. You see Sam more than we think. Before quarantine, I definitely saw him um, a, probably a lot more than you guys think. We just didn't post together when we were together because we were just hanging out. You were popular in school. I don't really know. I actually did high school online. I went to school for grade nine, but it was kind of like a transition year. It was a new school. I didn't know anyone. Um, but all the way up to grade eight, I was friends with everyone. Like I was friends with the popular kids. I was friends with the not popular kids. So I don't know if that makes me popular, but yeah, I was friends with everyone. And lastly, you sleep with the light on. I keep my light very dim when I sleep because I'm scared of the dark, okay? Don't judge me. Okay, so that's all the questions that I have time for right now. But if you guys wanna see me do like a part two of this, um, maybe even juicier questions, you guys should let me know in the comments. 60% of you aren't even subscribed to my channel and you're watching my videos, so just subscribe, why not? Also give this video a big old like and make sure you have my post notifications on. But that is it for today. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.